Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a tutorial and I specifically wanted to whip out my Balm Cosmetics The Meet a Matrimony Palettes. And I mentioned this in my March Favorites, how much I was loving it. So I was like, you know what, I actually have to use it on camera because I've been playing around with it mostly off camera. And I did say my next tutorial was going to be not like a natural everyday look. I know some people love those, but definitely gonna try to mix it up with a little bit more color smokiness um something a little bit more you know a little bit crazy a little bit more fun it's not crazy probably more fun but i love these colors but i feel like you can really go natural you can go every day and you can just kind of come down here and do something smoky like i did it's nothing crazy not complicated i think it's pretty easy if anything the main thing here is blendability but also the pigmentation as i mentioned is insane i think these are really really great i did use a cream um product on, on my lid a black cream product to kind of help intensify it but i feel like even if you don't use that i definitely think the intensity of these eyeshadows can probably even do it on its own i love it so much if you guys haven't gotten any of the bomb eyeshadows i think you should definitely pick some up i love this one especially i have a couple other ones i think they're great so if you guys want to see how i got this look and honestly Let's look at it now. It looks, it's looking pretty good, right? Let me just tell you, smoky eyes, it's a process. I feel like not until you put on like the lashes and you get your brows on, then you're like, oh, okay, all right, it's, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> Cause it starts to get a little crazy funky there. But if you guys wanna see how I got this look, I try to make it as easy as possible, not too complicated. Just keep on watching. Hey guys, so I'm going to start off by priming my eyes with the Urban Decay. Uh, this is actually their concealer, the Naked Skin Concealer. You can use an eyeshadow primer, but I actually really like this as a concealer and an eyeshadow primer. So I'm just adding that to my lids and blending it out with my sponge. I'm going into the Meet Matrimony palette, and to set my concealer, I'm going to take the shade Matte Lin and just kind of dust it all over my eyelids just to kind of help set and even like underneath my brow bone, brighten that area underneath. Then I'm going to go back into the palette and take the shade Matte Lopez right beneath that. And I'm using the Sonia Kasha 109 blending brush. I love this brush so much. So inexpensive and really, really great for nice airbrush blending. So I'm just going to work that around my crease area for my transition shade. And I just love this color and all the colors. Then I'm going to go into Matte Evans and I'm going to take a Morphe M433 brush. And I'm going to place this one just a little bit above my crease so we kind of start getting the gradient effect here because we're going to go from like a light to dark as we get closer to the lid. So we're moving it down. Then just going in with the Sonia Kashuk 109 brush and blending that out further so you get that nice transition. Then I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to take Matte Kumar and I'm going to take a Sigma E25 brush. You can also take another uh, M433 brush but I just either one is interchangeable and this one I'm putting more directly into my crease and honestly little by little I'm just kind of like adding and blending and adding and blending and that's what the premises of this whole look is just blend 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 add 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 blend to the intensity that you want and I kind of want like a nice intensity but I love this beautiful burgundy color so just kind of blending that out and then I'm going to take a NYX Jumbo Pencil, and I think this color is Black Bean, and just adding a little bit to my lid. A little bit goes a long way with this product. So start off with a little bit, and then add more if needed, but you don't need that much. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and blend this out with my finger. Just pat it in. Don't bring it too far up. That's definitely the trick. <laughs> then I'm going to go back into the pad, and I'm going to take a Matte Reed, this nice, intense chocolate brown color. This is so intense. If you could just see me just pat Adding it on there like it's insane how intense this product is and I'm packing that on with a Mac 242 brush but you can definitely use any other packing brush that you want something stiff that's really gonna pack that color on I don't want fluffy because I want this pigmented so you want a nice stiff packing brush I'm just going in kind of you know packing around my eye not bringing it too far because we're gonna blend so you don't want to bring it too up because you're gonna blend up and this will just make it a little bit easier so take your time with this just so you don't bring it too far up then I'm going in with a another clean Sigma E25 brush and now I'm blending that color up and into the crease so both colors kind of mesh together and just take your time don't go too crazy do windshield wiper motions 
And here I'm just going back in and packing some more color because as you blend, you kind of lose that color. So that's like the whole thing with this look is having patience, adding more and blending out and adding more and blending out. And honestly, like I probably edited a bunch of just so this isn't forever, but it takes a while. And now I'm just going in and adding some more of that burgundy shade with my Sigma E25 brush, just adding more and intensifying that color as well. So all these colors just kind of going back in and just repeating the same steps and just getting it to the intensity that you want. And then I'm going in, this is a Sigma E35 brush and blending that out and airbrushing it out further. So a lot of brushes, a lot of clean brushes, you can use multiple brushes or just kind of clean out the brushes that you have. Now I went in with a NYX micro brow pencil and just did my brows. And now I'm going in with the Hard Candy Hydra Primer. And I'm taking the uh, Wet n Wild, this is their Photo Focus Foundation. I wanted to mix it up and kind of use this one again since I really did like it. And I'm just going to go in and blend that out with my Beauty Blender. I usually like to go in with maybe two layers of this foundation just to get the coverage that I like. But I think one layer is really, really nice. But I went in, I kind of blend it out one layer and then I go back in and add more rather than like adding like a lot all at once. It just makes it a little bit easier. Easier. Then I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer and this is in the Peach Corrector just so I can kind of cancel out my under eyes since I am going to go in with a lighter concealer. Um, but the peach just helps kind of cancel that out so you don't see like too much darkness. I love this one for my skin tone. If you're a little bit more medium tan than me, check out the orange one. I think that one will complement that skin tone a little bit better. Then I'm going to go in with my Catrice Concealer and I'm going to put that underneath my eyes so to brighten so that's where I want to go with my peach first because if you just go in with this then my under eye circles are really going to be very prominent <laughs> and I'm bringing that down the bridge of my nose my forehead cupid's bow and my chin and while kind of like going in and blending this out and maybe even adding it but I was like you know what I'll just go with it I haven't used it in a while <laughs> um, while I was kind of blending it out I was just like wow this is kind of really bright <laughs> it's really light I don't know should we continue should I go with another one okay we're gonna make this work I guess um, but I was like you know what we can uh, go in <laughs> with the powder something you know that'll kind of help balance it out a little bit so I was like okay just keep going just keep going but especially since I do have like really dark um, lid shade I wanted to kind of go with something a little bit more brightening but when I might get a concealer shade a little bit um, not darker but a little bit not as bright as this one so the next shade up for me just so I don't want to be this brightening or anything. I always. Um, but then I'm going to go in with my Bomb Cosmetics Highlight and Contour Palette. And I'm going to go in and take there. I'm going to go more in with the yellow shade just to kind of balance out that under eye concealer. And I'm just going to take a Real Techniques setting brush and just set my under eye so that my concealer doesn't crease and move around. Then I'm going to go back in to the Meet Matrimony palette. I'm gonna take Matt Lopez and with the pencil brush, I'm just gonna run that underneath my lash line just to kind of now bring together the top lid and my lower lash line. Before I continue with the rest, I'm gonna take my L'Oreal Voluminous uh, Carbon. This is the cold pencil. I'm just gonna line my waterline and my upper lash line just so that when I put on lashes and everything, it kind of all blends in together. But I kind of want to definitely go for a more smoky eye, so I'd rather go in with black. You can use brown as well, but I want to do full on smoking, go in with the black liner. Then I'm going to go back into Matt Kumar with the pencil brush also and kind of run that underneath my lash line. So some of the colors that I use on my lid, I'm going to use in the bottom lash line. Then I'm going to go in with Matt Reed with a flat shader brush just to kind of define the like outer third of my eye and kind of help smoke that out. And then once again, just run it through whichever color you choose. I think I use Matt Kumar. Then I'm going to take my Coco Lashes in the style Queen B. And can you see? Can you see? The look is kind of, it's getting better. It's getting better, right? It's starting to look a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> then I'm going to take my Milani Prep Set and Glow Powder. And I'm going to take a dual fiber brush just to kind of set my face in preparation for my contour and highlight. But as you add the brows, you add the lashes, you're kind of adding next the contour and highlight. It's starting to look a little bit red, right? It's all a process. Going into that Balm Cosmetics Highlight and Contour Palette, I'm going to take that sculpting shade and I'm going to take, this is an e.l.f. 
this is one of their um kind of like clear handle brushes which i've actually really been liking lately i'm going to use that to sculpt the areas of my face and kind of define my cheekbones and everything and especially because the um eyeshadow look is really intense i kind of want to bring back some life and some dimension back to my face to kind of really bring the whole look together bronzer and everything especially when you use foundation so it doesn't look so flat and you know brings it together so just putting that underneath my chin and then I'm gonna go in with another Morphe something a little bit more fluffy uh, just to kind of help blend everything out and together then just to kind of further define my contour I'm gonna go in just with a little bit more of that highlight and just run that underneath my cheekbones just to define and kind of clean up my contour a little bit then just going in really quickly I don't like fully on a bake too often and just kind of you know brushing everything and blending everything together with my dual fiber brush the same one that I use to add the prep set and glow powder just so we blend everything together then going back into the highlight and contour palette and taking that blush. I don't want anything too intense, so you can really intensify this blush. But I just kind of wanted to add a little bit of, you know, just light pink to it because we had a lot going on with the eyes, but just to get some color. You can even just leave it blank, but I was actually using this for like a review and demo later. <laughs> and then just going back into the palette with the highlight and actually ended up kind of mixing both highlights together since, you know, the peach kind of went with like the dark eye is what the cranberries and everything and just adding that on the tops of my cheekbones just to highlight well, a lot on the tops of the cheekbones because <laughs> i actually really did like this highlight and then you know just on the bridge of the nose and the cupid's bow and then in the inner corner of my eyes since we do have a lot of darkness on the lids i kind of wanted to like open up up a little bit now i'm going to take the wet and wild liquid katsu in the shade rebel rose I like this kind of like cool tone pink to go with this eye look. Then just to mix it up a little bit more, I'm going in with another Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu shade called Nudie Patootie. I'm just adding that to the center of the lid and you can just dab it in with your finger or you can take a concealer brush and just kind of like mesh the two together. So I kind of wanted to do a little bit of different color. But that is a completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it wasn't too crazy complicated. Just blend and blend and blend your life away and I hope it just turns out great. Make sure to subscribe to keep up with some more videos and I'll see you guys next time.